Hi everyone, this is Mr. Bartolo here. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope the cabin fever isn't too bad and you're not stressed. It's a beautiful day. I'm filming the day before, but it's a beautiful day on Tuesday. Um, today is the today is the 25th. It's a Wednesday. It's a B day. Um, let me run you through the agenda, and then I'll give you the um, presentation link just in case you need it, if it's not in the description, for whatever reason. So, here's our agenda. Try and keep it pretty short. Um, we're going to start with our do now. We're going to look at a comic. Uh, I'm going to teach you what satire is and how to recognize it. And then we're going to look at music, we're going to look at TV, and we're going to look at an article from The Onion, and then I have a creative piece of homework um, for you guys uh, today, which I think should be fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. I usually like teaching satire. I think you guys will have a good time with it. So, in case you can't find the presentation link in the description, here it is, just in case. God forbid, it is tinyurl.com, cool, backslash, u, x, 7, 6, r, c, c. So tinyurl.com, backslash, u, x, 7, 6, r, c, c. So everyone should have access to that. Okay, let's pull this up. Cool. So, the Google form is linked in the second slide in your do now. So, um, the prompt for today is, and you'll write the prompt in the Google form, as we probably have figured out by now. Um, our prompt today is, should friends folk poke fun at each other, why or why not? So you guys all have friends and you all can poke a little bit of fun um, at each other. For example, I have a friend who is like a super health conscious dude and he um, actually sells health products uh, for a living and we rag on him all the time uh, for that. Um, I poke fun at my girlfriend for silly things that she does, and she pokes fun at me. Pokes fun at me. That one's hard. Um, should friends do that to each other? Why or why not? I want you to write a paragraph using sentence structures. So just as a refresher, because I'm not seeing it, I comma C C I and D comma I or I D periods after all of them. So remember to use your sentence structures and transition words in this paragraph that you're going to write. So I'm going to give you five minutes. You can pause me now and then I'll see you in a minute. They pause me. Okay. And we are back. Hello, um, I'm excited to see your responses for this. So, um, let's move to slide three. Um, slide three, we see um, a comic, a recent comic. Uh, this was made this year. Uh, it's about coronavirus, because I think it's topical. Um, and we see... The first panel, it says, give the gift that shows how much you care. So, all right, we got a guy giving a bottle of hand sanitizer to his, presumably his wife or his girlfriend or fiance. And she says, hand sanitizer, you spent too much. So, you guys all know that we are going through a... I don't know if we're going through a shortage, but we went through a huge rush of hand sanitizer and toilet paper and bottled water and things that did not need to be hoarded like that. I'm sure you guys have seen memes about it because the memes are phenomenal memes. So this is 
poking fun at the situation we're currently in. How is this poking fun at the situation that we're in? And what does this cartoon tell us about our society? Um, I want your opinion uh, to both these questions in the Google form. So however you're feeling, uh, however you think this comic is making fun of our society and what this comic says about our society, I want you to um, transfer your opinion onto paper, keyboard, whatever. I want you to transfer your opinion onto the Google form. Important to get your opinion out there. So I'm going to give you probably about four minutes for this so you can set the timer now and you can pause me now. Okay, so we're back. Hi. I am excited to see your opinion on this. So, what we're learning about is on slide four. And these are your notes. The first three lines are your notes. So, we're learning something called satire. I'm sure all of you have seen satire before. Um, almost positive that everyone has seen satire before, whether they know it or not. But all satire is, is it's something using humor to criticize people, peoples, or society's views on things, especially political or current events. So if we go back to the comic, clearly that's a current event. And to criticize means to um, maybe judge very harshly. So that author of that comic is judging our society's actions and values. Um, and it's using humor to do that. It's using humor to judge our values. Um, you'll see it a lot in the political climate and with current events. Why is this important? Why, why, why am I... I'm only here for like two weeks, so why would I bother telling you about satire? Um... A lot of you don't have me in the classroom, but I rely pretty heavily on humor in order to get my point across. I think that's really important. So, satire is important to us because it allows us to use our creativity um, to criticize aspects of our society we think could be run differently. That's how I think it is. Um, there's an expression that you'll get a lot far, uh, farther using uh, honey than with vinegar. Or you'll attract more flies using honey than vinegar. I think using humor um, allows us to criticize and get our point across more effectively than um, just ranting about something. That's why memes are so powerful because they use humor and they're satirizing our society and how we act, especially with toilet paper. So. You've seen satire before. It comes in many forms. It comes in TVs. It comes in movies. It comes in comics, music, and articles. It comes in every possible format you could imagine. So I thought it would be cool to take a look at a few, um, a few different forms of satire um, today. So if we jump to slide number five, um, before you click the video, um, I want to give you some backstory. So, um, you guys have almost, almost all of you have heard this song by John Lennon called Imagine. Um, it's a really, really famous song. If you haven't heard it, it has a really beautiful message. Um, Elton John, who is a uh, British pianist, he covered John Lennon's song. Cool. Um... You'll see in the link that it's the video of John Lennon singing, um, excuse me, Elton John singing John Lennon's song. Cool. Um, but Elton John also um, uh, said this about John Lennon. Now, for those of you who don't know John Lennon, John Lennon was the lead singer of the Beatles, arguably the most important musical group of all time. Uh... So make a, make a judgment on that. Make an inference about that. If he's the lead singer of the Beatles, what can you infer about John Lennon? 
What I can infer is that maybe he's a hippie because the Beatles played hippie music, but I can also infer that if he's the lead singer of that group, then he probably has a lot of money. So, of course he does. Um, Elton John uh, gave this quote about John Lennon. Um, I will skip to the little middle in the yellow right here. I gave it to John Lennon when I went to visit him. I thought it was a good present for a man who had everything. Okay, so my inference is right that John Lennon had a lot of money. John and Yoko, his wife, were as bad as me when it came to shopping. Okay, well, you have a lot of money. You could probably shop a lot. The various apartments they owned in the Dakota in New York City. The Dakota is a apartment building right next to Central Park. Actually, Central Park was that picture that we all looked at yesterday and wrote the Do Now on. So there's your context. Um... A lot of money. A lot of money over there. So, my inference is right. So, they owned various apartments in one building. They were so full of priceless artworks, antiques, and clothes that I once sent them a card rewriting the lyrics to Imagine. Imagine six apartments. It isn't, hard. It isn't that hard to do. One is full of fur coats. Another is full of shoes. So, Elton John is poking fun at his friend John Lennon for being a little bit um, extravagant and spending a lot of money needlessly, maybe. What my question to you is, what is Elton John satirizing when rewriting the lyrics to Lennon's song? What is he trying to make fun of and why is he trying to make fun of that? I want you to take just a few minutes, um, answer the do now, uh, excuse me, answer the do now, answer the question in the Google form, and maybe listen to the song as well, because I think it's actually like a really good song, and I think you guys would like it very much. It's a powerful one, and I'm sure you guys have all heard it once. Okay. So, pause me now, answer the question in the Google form, and then unpause me when you're ready. Alrighty. Hi. Okay. Um, moving on to slide number six. TV is probably the most obvious form of satire. For sure. However, how many of you have ever watched The Office? The Office is making fun of the American workplace. About 60% of Americans work in cubicles. I, I don't know how true that is, but I'm pretty sure it's a lot. So, they're making fun, they're poking fun at the way that we operate. Um, the clip that I'm going to have you watch is a clip from a show called South Park. And in this episode, um, the two characters, Cartman and Kyle, contract AIDS. And they are on a mission to find the cure. They team up with Magic Johnson who was a NBA player back in the 80s before anyone, any of you guys were born. And he played with the Lakers, and he was a really, really big-time superstar. Probably one of the best that ever played, Rip Kobe. So, in the mid-90s, he actually caught HIV and full-blown AIDS. Um, and South Park is making fun of something in this situation. Eventually, Magic Johnson was cured of his HIV, actually. He didn't develop AIDS, I lied to you. Sorry. So he developed HIV, but he actually got it cured or seriously reduced. So I want you to watch the clip. And it's about like a two and a half minute clip. And then I want you to come back and come back to this question. Maybe think about this question as you watch this clip. What are they satirizing? What are they making fun of in this clip? What are they poking fun at in our society? And I just want you to think about that for right now. Okay, so you can pause me now and then come back when you're done. Alrighty, hi. I hope you enjoyed the clip. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys think they're making fun of. Um, 
that's a pretty interesting clip, especially with what we're dealing with now, um, which is why I chose that clip intentionally. So, um, a lot of you are probably watch the NBA or some sort of sport. Like I'm particularly a hockey fan, but I know a lot of my students watch um, watch either the NBA or soccer or something. Um, my question is, um, given this huge issue with coronavirus, um, how come all the tests the tests are going to the VIPs, to the celebrities, to the sports players, to the heads of state? Um, and so what I want you to do is I want you to read this article from the Washington Post about um, different celebrities um, getting the test before um, normal people like, like us. Um, and then as you read, I want you to annotate. I want you to summarize. I want you to take notes however you like to take notes. Um, if you want to use that. Uh, one, two, three, four equals summary method. That's totally fine too. This way you have a good summary of what uh, the article was about. Um, my question on the Google form that I want you to answer in a paragraph form, ACES paragraph form specifically, is how does the, how does, um, how are these two things related? How is that clip from South Park and this article about VIPs getting first access to tests instead of citizens, how are these two things related? That's what I want you to answer. Also, that's why satire is important because it gets the same message across as that article does, which is really, really cool. Okay, so you can pause me now. I'm gonna give you about mm, 15 minutes to read it. I'll give you 20 minutes total. Just, you can pause me, you can take as much time as you need. So, you're home, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so pause me now, get that done. And we're back. Okay, so, um, I always like this article. So I want you to go to slide number seven. Um, we are gonna read an article um, that I think is is very funny, um, also really messed up. Um, the title of the article is um, also having to do with a little bit of classism, like people in the higher class getting treatment that people in the lower class don't necessarily get. Uh, the title of the article is Wealthy Teen Nearly Experiences Consequence. Um, this is an article from The Onion, um, that is a satirical news website. Um, some people um, don't realize that it's a satirical news website and then get really confused when they see like crazy headlines like this. Um, I think you'll really enjoy this article. I've read it several times um, before I even started teaching and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, what I want you to do here is I want you to read it. There's a link on the slide there to the article from The Onion. And then I want you to answer some questions in the Google form. Um, I'll consider that part one of your homework. So um, you can pause me now and start that. And I'm going to get into part two of your homework, um, which I think um, could be a, a, a really cool way uh, for you guys to express yourselves right now. Um, so if you go to slide eight, um, this is your second part of your homework. I think this is optional, um, but I think if you're maybe bored, not that you would be because so much fun being home all day, I want you to create a piece of satire and send it to me. Um, you can do a drawing, like a comic that we saw. You could write a poem that makes fun of our society in a certain way. You can write a rap that makes fun of our society in a certain way. Um, you can 
draw. I think I said that. You can create a video if you want. Famous YouTube star right here. You you can you can do it. Um, I think this is just a really fun way um, to kind of explore that topic and kind of explore that medium of expression. So I, I, I hope that you do it. I'm excited to see what you guys have to send me. My email is on the description in the description. So it's all there for you. Send me whatever you have. And if not, send your teachers um, whatever you make too. Because I think it would be a lot of fun uh, for you guys to um, use that medium. So um, Wealthy Teen article. Finish those questions in the Google form. And... Have some fun, create some satire, poke some fun at some things in our society that you don't like and want to express. Go for it, have fun. Guys, you're the best. Thank you so much. I hope this was somewhat fun. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed satire. Uh, that's why I wanted to teach it to you guys. I like it. Okay, guys, have a good one. You guys, I love you guys. Thank you so much. Bye.